Mine is a bit different. Mine, I uh, kind of wanted to just draw a picture of the benefits I've received from Empathy Circle. Um, I'm also going through grief because I suddenly lost my husband in January 2012 and then my dad seven weeks later. So that's where my need for empathy has. So I just want to tell a little story about the benefits of Empathy Circle and uh, Empathy Feels Damn Good. So while I was looking around on the Culture of Empathy website, I was reading the section called Empathy Feels Damn Good. There are subheadings such as build connection, build presence, build more openness, and I have some examples of those feelings. Um, I may be stretching the meaning of empathy circles, but I have many examples of how they've helped me. I never even thought of them as empathy, empathy circles that Edwin, but I see them that way now. One of my examples was the abortion protest in Austin, Texas this summer. Um, I see it as a big empathic event. Uh, grief group therapy is another vastly beneficial empathy circle I'm involved in, as well as a circle of two, which is my one-on-one -on -one counseling session. Um, I understand better what Felicia said a couple weeks ago about empathy, quote, takes the lid off, unquote especially in the area of creativity. Involved in the abortion protest this summer, and all of us wore a color that we identified with. Orange was for pro-choice, blue was the anti-choice, so it was very easy to identify with the like-minded individuals. And it was a very energizing experience to be with those people and to be able to physically release our anger. Um, I clashed, they were actually sore the next day. And I chanted so loudly and for so long that my voice was hoarse the next day. And I could feel the anger and frustration fading with every syllable that I spoke and every time I clapped my hand. Um, I met some wonderful people during that protest. Uh, this past Sunday, I got to enter one of my new friend's dreams. And I don't mean a literal dream. I mean a dream like, what would I do if I won the lottery type dream? Um, we collectively dreamed of building a sort of compound of, out of old containers, like many houses. Uh, we dreamed of having gardens, a library, collective cook cooking and eating areas. Um, it's a dream, but for a few hours my mind was able to freely soar like an eagle, and it was just wonderful. I was more relaxed and happy. I cooked a delicious and healthy dinner, and for the first time in a long time, I'm able to pick up a pen, and I'm writing this story, this very story right here. So yes, Alicia, and I understand what she's saying when she said, with empathy, you find kindred. You can take the lid off of possibilities, dreams, and your own personal creativity. So the benefit of that one could be filed under, I feel more calm and relaxed, and I feel the creativity from being in the empathy circle of a protest. <laughs> um, I have to backtrack a little and give a bit of my background in order to explain another connection I made in that giant empathy circle of protest. And this would benefit would be filed under the feeling of spaciousness or the feeling of acceptance. Um, when my husband died, he died and it happened Accidentally, around the same time, my only child, my daughter, was about to graduate from college, so my role as a mother was changing. So not only was a giant piece of my identity changing, but her suddenly looked drastically different. So I've spent the last year and a half trying to find an identity for myself with the unprecedented freedom to do my own thing without having to consider what the effects of doing my own thing would have on others. And I'm still unsure of what doing my own thing means, but I know I naturally spend a lot of time studying the current political arena, and this brings me to another person I met during the giant empathy circle of protest. I met a writer by profession who is also a political activist with a lot of experience. 
And through her, I've been able to join a politically active group. I've been to meetings. I've been to trainings. And I'm looking forward to learning a lot and actually helping to change people's lives for the better through the policy-making system. And this is what I mean by doing my own thing. Through the giant empathy circle of protesting at the Capitol, I've met someone that has a great deal of knowledge and a willing to, willingness to teach that knowledge of making the world a better place. So I benefit so far from the giant empathy circle, the giant empathic event of protesting, a kindred spirit, one that allowed me to dream and therefore pick up a pen and write again, and one that is a guide to my probable future as a political activist, which will fulfill my ultimate goal of leaving the world a little better off, or at least to be able to keep the torch of humanity burning. Another empathy circle that helped me a great deal is my grief group. One member actually feels that the group has literally saved his life and has literally kept him alive. He got physically very sick right after his wife died, and when he started when he got better, he started coming to the grief group. In the beginning, he said he would count the days and the hours until the next group meeting. He feels the group, or at least looking forward to the next meeting, is what enabled him to keep putting one foot in front of the other until he could make the next meeting, literally giving him a reason to wake up in the morning. For me personally, I would probably be depressed if I hadn't had this empathy circle. My daughter always encourages me to go because she can tell I am emotionally healthier when I attend the meetings regularly. It's hard to pinpoint the core benefit I receive. I would guess that it may be clarity and understanding. I understand that grief is real. It is a thing. It's not a material thing, but it's a real thing nonetheless. I would find under the feeling of transcendent truth and also under healing. Um, I have a circle of two, myself and a therapist, to deal with my anger. And the reason I need a much smaller circle is because of the intensity of the feeling and the confidentiality of only sharing with one person. I also did without having to take turns with others. Um, I circle one-on-one -on -one with Edwin, and he was very quickly able to empathize and help me resolve that one single issue I had that was giving me a feeling of anger. I would file this under empathy as an antidote to bad feelings. So in conclusion, I will just leave you with a quote. Quote, hello, and thank you for existing. Unquote. So what I was hearing, uh, Suzanne, is that there's multiple types of empathy and empathy circles. And that by going to these, that it's like opening uh, a lid up, that you're able to start expressing yourself and feeling, and that you get a different, uh, and it feels down, and those are a whole bunch of different damn good feelings that, that arise from those different circles. And that from each circle has a different quality to it. There's the, the kind of the protest circle, your grief circle, as well as one-on-one -on -one, uh, circles. So. Uh, the, and from having those connections that it's opening up and there's actually a creativity, uh, also a feeling of creativity that's coming up. So that's what I was hearing. First of all, I would like to say that I, I feel very honored that, that something that I said during our empathy circle a couple of weeks ago has, has translated into your life. And so, um, and uh, I really, really felt it as a writer. Um, I felt the place that you were going to, um, that you were taking your feelings into something that moved, that was more fluid in words on paper, that you were, that you were creating something brand new out of your experience. And, um, and I felt very uplifted by that. Suzanne really uplifted and encouraged. Um, so I would say that. And, um, and I wanted to say that, that I am so supercharged, excited about um, how you have moved in your, in your, um, in your transformation 
in the last couple of weeks, it is so encouraging um, th that your grief has lifted to to a place of um, of uh, eloquence and um, and uh, beauty, and so. Uh, more than, than relating exactly word for word by what you said, I just wanted to say that you you have affected me profoundly by looking at all the different ways that you have used empathy with your circles, and I'm so encouraged by that. And I want to thank you so much. Thank you, Felicia. You and I just have some, some kind of connection going on here. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're sisters. Somehow you and I are sisters. I think so too. I think so too. But okay, so I wanted to say to you that I felt a wall the last time that you were on our circle. And I feel that wall has lifted up a lot and that's that's due to your transformation. I mean, you chose that. This is what you did with empathy. I'm so proud, and I I, I, I hope that that encourages other people who are listening today. <laughs>